What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to go over the SC200 exam from Microsoft. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share. And if you have any questions about this exam that I didn't cover in my review, throw it in the comments and I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. So I recently took this exam. I did it yesterday. Actually, today is Sunday. I did it Saturday morning at around eight o'clock in the morning. And it took me about 30 minutes or so, 28 minutes to be exact, I think, because um, my exam started at 8 a.m. and I think I was done and out of my room by 8.30. So it wasn't too bad. And uh, you have about 57 or 58 questions. It wasn't that hard at all. Uh, as long as you go, I wanna show you what I did, right? I wanna do my review, my recommendations, how I tackled the exam. This is my experience, my path, right? So. Obviously, you just go to Microsoft and you can just put the SC200 exam and you get prompted with this Microsoft Certified Security Operations Analyst Associate. This is an associate mid-level exam, so it's not too easy, but it's not crazy hard, right? So what are you going to learn in here? You're going to learn into how to investigate, search for and mitigate threats using Microsoft Sentinel, Microsoft Defender for Cloud and Microsoft 365 Defender, which is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And out of all of these, Sentinel's probably my weakest. I'm going to be honest, very, very straightforward. So what I did when I was studying, I focused on like KQL queries because I didn't know what was going to be presented to me in the exam. OK, so let's keep coming down. Right. So if we go ahead and say prepare for exam, let's go ahead and jump right there. Right. Let's just open up that in a new tab and prepare for the exam. So what I did. I clicked on this. This is exactly what I did. And you can come up and see what it's all about. And when you click on, you know, prepare for example, we'll jump down to that area. So a little bit about the overview. You know, if you want to get certified, this is what you're going to, you know, the organization's risk by rapidly remediating active threats in cloud and on-prem environments. When they say on-prem, you're going to run an MDE client or a install on your endpoint and God forbid those get compromised or anything malicious is running on those endpoints you're going to get alerted which in your dashboard and then you go to that machine and you start you know investigating it right so that's pretty much you know a little bit about that you know improvements on threat detection practices maybe you have like ASR rules or attack surface reduction and you want to in, uh, identifying violations of organizational policies so you're going to learn a whole bunch of whole bunch of things i learned so much from doing this i'm not going to lie and there's a few more exams I'll have to take in the near future, which I'll be doing reviews on those as well. And Microsoft, I'm getting a little uh, Microsoft heavy now, to be honest. Uh, I don't really talk about that too much in the public eye, but, you know, on a DL, that's what I'm doing. But um, as a security operations analyst, you know, you're going to perform triage, respond to incidents, you know, uh, mitigate risks by using exposure management. Uh, hunt for threats using threat intelligence and use KQL for reporting, detection, investigations. This area is where I was really weak, you know? So that's where I focus KQL, Sentinel. Uh, that's not my main responsibility, but I want to know it and understand that tool so I can be better at my job, right? And better at detecting threats. And also, you're going to learn how to monitor, identify, investigate, and respond to threats in the cloud and on-premise environments by using Microsoft Defender XDR, which is MDE, Set, uh, Security uh, Copilot, Sentinel, Defender for Cloud, and any third-party security solutions. All right, so you're going to be familiar with 365, Microsoft, Azure, and Windows, Mobile, and Linux. So what I did when I read through this when I started doing, I studied only for about two weeks, to be honest. And last week, I really honed into the areas that I was weak, that I knew I was not secure with my skill set and my abilities. Where were they? And I'll be honest, I want to I want to point them out. Creating KQL queries in Microsoft Sentinel. This is an area that I wasn't comfortable. Uh, and managing threat hunting in Microsoft Sentinel. And then configuring your environment in Microsoft Sentinel. So these are the areas that I you know, manage log connections. That was, you know, that's just connecting a log, uh, a connection so you can ingest data from a, a source. That was pretty simple because you just search for it. You and, you know, I, it's not really my responsibility where I'm at, but I, I knew how to do that. 
Um, all the other stuff, the, like I said, those three, I was really weak and that's where I focused. So say for example, let's just go ahead and do the last one here. So what you do is come down to prepare, click on more, and you can see here, perform threat hunting in Microsoft. So you can hit, click it, and then you can say, okay, this is where I wanna go ahead and, and tinker with. And then you just go ahead and hit start. And then you can start doing your, you know, your class or whatever, your thing your course and it's all free so that's a really really cool thing about this it's all free 99 so why not and yeah that was that let's go back here and prepare so this is actually just before i did all of that i did it i took a, a test a practice test assessment so i click on here and this gives you 50 questions on pretty much it's not identical to the exam, but it gives you an idea of what kind of questions that they ask you. And you pretty much go through it. And I think I, I did it twice. The first time I got like a 79 and the second time I got like a 93. So I was like, I did it only twice. I only did that twice. And I only focused on the areas that I was really bad or that I knew I needed improvements, All right? So that's pretty much that's it so you go you can launch a you can launch a um a sandbox you can watch videos and you can you know you'll have 100 minutes to complete this assessment and you can check it out right so now when you schedule the exam you know the you know the exam is 165 dollars you can schedule it through pearson view and i'm not going to go ahead and log in my pearson view or anything like that but that's about it you can also, you know, use different study guides here and you can see right from Microsoft and you can, you know, check this out. I would say focus on the areas that you that you need your improvements. You only know what you're good at and what you're not. Right? You need a 700 to 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 pass. I think I got a uh 894, I think. Um and and we'll go to that in a second. I don't know if it actually shows that, but all right, so that's pretty much what I just showed. All right, here's my my uh, my uh, credentials. Obviously, you can see here I did pass it on the seventh, which was yesterday, right? So I do have that, and these are other ones. So you can see these are all my credentials, right? Uh, let's see, we can come down. Whoops, my mouse is going bananas. All right, so you can see all like I took the what the hell is going on with my mouse? Uh, I did the MCSE cloud platform. I did, did this in 2016. So this was the last time I took a Microsoft exam. So that's almost 10 years ago, right? So it was a long, long time ago. So let's just go to the next one here. Let me see, where's the, uh, the actual here? All right, so when you complete it, you get a cool little certificate like this, right? So this is my, hey, congratulations, you pass all the requirements for your Microsoft Certified Security Operations Analyst. And that's, that's pretty much all good, right? So the next one I'll be doing, let's go ahead and come back to Google, is the SC300, right? So let's go here on Microsoft, I guess, if I can spell. All right, so this one's gonna be Identity and Access right administrator so this isn't an associate level as well and if i pass this with i don't want to say flying colors but if i can pass this i think i'm going to do you know i'm i'm, I'm liking these mic i'm getting back into the groove of the microsoft world to be honest so the next one after that i think it's the az 500 i think yeah so Azure Security uh, Engineer, but this is in the associate level again. And then the last one, I got three more that I wanna do. Uh, I got two more I have to do and one I wanna do. So then the SC100. So the SC100 is the expert. So like your security architect, and I think this is the expert level. Like if you complete this, I believe it's expert, I believe. Uh, let me see. Let's go back here. Um, let's uh, if I can spell. I think it's the expert. Let's see right here. Expert 
what is the certification? Yeah, the SC100. Yeah, so that's the last one I'll probably do. And if you, you know, you do that, you can design security operations and compliance comp capabilities with Microsoft Defender and Sentinel design, you know, it's pretty much you can design everything, right? It's not only administering it and like, you know, engineering it, you and three certifications, it requires three certs, right? So I believe if I, you know, I just did this one, I'm going to be doing number two is here. And then number three is here. So I need to do all of these. So does that automatically give me the expert? Uh, I wonder, I don't know. Hold on. To become a Microsoft, you must earn one of the following. Um, hmm. So option one, I, I guess I want to ask the teammate. I don't really know. I, I, I think he has it. But I think you have to, I don't know. I don't know if you have to complete all of them. I'll have to have to see that once I'm done with the exams that I that I got to take. And then you can renew your Microsoft certifications for free, you know, blah, blah, blah. But this is my goal. I really want to do this. Um, I just want to because I have other expert level certifications in Microsoft, like I have the Microsoft certified solutions expert in cloud and uh, uh, infrastructure. That was more when I was doing infrastructure stuff and then you know I have private cloud expert that I did in 2014 this is an associate level for office 365 I have a solutions expert in server infrastructure so since I'm back on this high horse of of certifications from Microsoft I think I want to do the expert um, after I took the exam yesterday it made me feel pretty confident with my abilities here so yeah let's come out over here you know I did my MCITP enterprise Administrator in 2008 server. This was in 15 years ago and so on and so forth. I took a lot. See, I have another Microsoft expert desk, desktop infrastructure, um, but I've taken so many certain so many certifications from Microsoft when before I got into the cybersecurity space. That's what I did. I was a system engineer and that's what I enjoyed until my PayPal got hacked and I got into the whole cybersecurity world. But that's pretty much it for it on this exam. But once I pass the next one, I'll give you my rundown on my, my, my walkthrough on how I did it. But hopefully this was informative. You know, this is the path that I took and I'm not no expert in Microsoft Security Cloud. You know, I'm working on it, I'm doing my stuff, but it's not like I'm a, you know, tr crazy, crazy expert. And I was able to do it and I'm sure you are as well. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.